Hi, I'm Nancy Thalen, an MSU Extension Educator for Ag Literacy, and I have the privilege of working with the Breakfast on the Farm programs across the state of Michigan. This is our fifth year for doing Breakfast on the Farm. They started in 2009. Since then, we've had over 40,000 participants. Uh, this event here today at the Reed Farm is our 22nd event. The whole purpose of Breakfast on the Farm is to give our non-farm consumers an opportunity to learn about modern agriculture and how technology is used in producing the food that they that they enjoy. My name is Jim Reed. We uh, we're hosting the Breakfast on the Farm this year, um, and and as you can see behind me, we've got a very good response. We uh, we started planning this about five months ago, and we uh, we are, it exceeded our expectations. So we planned for three to four thousand. Um, we fed probably three thousand. We're guessing. But uh, yesterday we prepped out 9,000 sausages, and we got a few left, but we're, we used a lot of them. And we did, uh, oh golly, maybe 7,000 pancakes today so far. Uh, the crowd is uh, fantastic. Uh, the uh, lines down the road, I've said I haven't waited this long for breakfast or walked this far in quite a while. This event uh, is really showcasing agriculture in 2013. We want to show the public how, uh, how their dairy products are, uh, are produced on the, at the farm level. What are some of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis to, uh, to pr provide our consumers with a wholesome uh, dairy product? This actually is the milk food part of it. My part here today is to help educate people who come in and have any questions about how the cows are milked uh, and explain the system to them. And we're here today just to explain uh, the health aspects of dairy cattle, especially uh, here on the dairy farm today. Um, it's our goal to have a healthy animal so that she will produce as much milk as possible for the efficiency and uh, profitability of the dairy farmers. So we're handing out booties, one of the easiest ways for folks to transfer pathogens and, and other pests and things is, is through their shoes, of course, where we're walking through the areas. When they finish the tour today, we're going to ask them to deposit their booties in some bio receptacles when we're all done, and so that's one way to check. We're really important for us to keep not only the people healthy, but also keep the animals and, and the farm here from being uh, contaminated in either direction. We're excited to be here. We heard that there was going to be some special event that MSU and uh, the community got involved in with Farm Bureau. and. We're amazed at the professionalism that's out here. I couldn't believe it from the very beginning. There were the way they parked us to just the whole event. I'm here basically to explain what a cow eats, the nutrition that she has to stay healthy, produce the highest quality milk that she possibly can. Um, and I love breakfast on the farm because it brings dairy farming to the public and it just lets us explain why we do what we do. We want to show that these cows are, are very comfortable, that they're um, being well taken care of, well fed, they're in, uh, they got comfortable places to lay down, and that we are doing our best to show the public that we are taking very good care of these cows, that they're living a very comfortable life. And the staff here have been pleasant. Everyone seems genuinely excited to be here. And obviously, it makes us excited to be here. And so, I am having the time of my life. I, I love uh, the baby calves and the big calves are things I didn't even know. We we're talking about uh, whether or not pork is really good for you or not. And um, that's something that's always been a debate in, within my family, whether it's not it's good to eat pork or not. So this has just been educational. My children are having a fantastic time. And this is a memory I think will last a long time because I'm taking lots and lots of pictures. This particular station here is to show the kids what it's like to milk a cow. Now they use the milkers. There's one set up a couple stations down that is mechanical, but this one just shows you how to do it by hand and just gives the kids something to play with. And it's just a great tool to teach kids more about what happens on the farm. I'm here today working in the calf barn area, um, informing people why the calves are kept separately to help prevent the spread of germs. Um, it's important to me because I've been involved in 4-H since I was nine, so it's just kind of uh, educating the public. I'm um, walking the calf around for the kids to take pictures with them and pet them. Good morning, my name is Jim Domogowski. I have a farm in Columbus Township, but I'm just helping people demonstrate what some of this machinery does and what it can do and can't do, and the size of it, its capacities, the horsepowers, and also the cost. We're just here to promote soybeans in Michigan and to share with people, the public, about 
how soy is in everything in their daily lives and they don't really know that. Um, we are here today to come see the cows and learn about them and learn about how they milk them and just have a really good breakfast on the farm. It's just uh, a great day for people to learn about uh, dairy farming and agriculture in general, so uh, it's uh, very impressive. Um, as the folks, um, when they leave today, they will hopefully leave knowing that uh, farmers care about their animals, they care about the environment, and they care about producing a safe, wholesome food product.